Okay, so I'm going to do a quick test here. This is going to be uh, um, eight times micro stepping, uh, running the same uh, test print or G code file that I've done uh, several times. I've just edited some things to make uh, allotment for the fact that I've removed the servo and replaced uh, the Z axis servo with actually a, a little stepper. Um, it only has uh, 15 millimeters of travel, actually about 16, but there's a soft limit, so 15 millimeters of travel. But uh, I get about 90 steps per millimeter with that set, the setup I have now, and uh, it works uh, a lot better for controlling the pen. So, anyhow, I'm just going to start the file. And uh, this is going to take a little while to draw because, again, it's um, eight times uh, micro stepping. So, uh, those of you that may have seen a draft print running before, um, literally eight times longer. The great thing about it is, though, um, there's eight times the resolution in the stepping. Um, now, one of the things that has changed versus the old uh, pen holder is the tip is actually held uh, much better. A custom piece of plastic with a hole made almost exactly the size of the tip of these uh, cheapy little markers, felt tip markers. Um, it's a lot closer to the uh, surface that it's working on, so there's not much room for like a, a spring drift that the uh, the old holder was causing. Um, there isn't much needed above to hold the pen except for a little wire loop on the body of the, the pen shaft up top. The uh, whole carrier that's on the uh, z-axis is made from two pieces of metal I've salvaged from the same drive that the actual stepper came out of. Um, it's designed to be able to hold this pen and then very shortly a uh, laser. Um, will go in behind and I'm gonna have to custom cut uh, some heat sink. I've got uh, a couple pieces of aluminum heat sink that were for chipsets or video cards and whatnot and I'm gonna bore that out for the uh, 12 millimeter uh, body of the laser and uh, that should just go right in behind the pen and actually shoot down behind so uh, anything that's engraved with the laser would be just a bit behind the uh, the pen holder by about uh, three or four millimeters that's not not too much of an issue um, as you can still see here uh, it's still moving fairly quickly um, some changes in the firmware uh, and the timers that I've used for controlling the uh, slight pauses between the steps of the stepper um, get down into uh, uh, microseconds so the uh, pause resolution or the timing ticks between each step point are incredibly small. Uh, I could probably speed it up a little bit, but there's a problem that with these steppers, they sort of have a minimum of about 250 uh, microseconds, and anything shorter than that, and they just won't respond. That's just too much, too fast for them. Um, the other thing uh, I've noticed with this uh, particular setup. Um, I actually did need to up the amperage a fair amount before everything was funny enough everything was running on about 300 milliamps before and now that I have the uh, the two stepper controller shields the Adafruit motor controller version 2's um, I actually had to up it to 1 amp um, at 5 volts so I have an old um, cell phone or, or Bluetooth earpiece charger that has a wonderfully regulated 5 volts rock solid um, but at a full amp uh, and it seems to be working just fine uh, the boards the motor control shields say that they want uh, 6 volts in but they're working just fine from this uh, regulated 5 I think uh, in fact the board is rather cold to the touch even the regulator itself is ice cold and uh, yeah the driver chips don't even get warm with these tiny motors they're running at 5 volts um, the other thing I've done using the custom firmware is it has some custom sleep protocols uh, in certain, uh, because of the way that these motors work, 
they can actually be released uh, in between uh, line commands and I'm actually sending all curves are short linear movements from the host and I'm just using the free um, g-code sender from the Google app. There's a Google app that can send uh, plain g-code and there's a few unsu unsupported commands in my g-code file but it still sends them anyways. It sends whatever you tell it to. It just won't preview any custom commands. So what I have is a few things that allow me to change um, the stepping mode on the fly for example. Um, I don't have to change anything on the driver because the Adaf Adafruit uh, motor control boards um, the step mode is a software value and uh, it's just a simple command that uh, I can put in that will simply pop from uh, uh, one to one stepping and then I can go to whatever I left the micro stepping at. The micro stepping value at this point is something that set up compile time so whatever you compile it with is what you're going to have. And right now I've, I've uh, compiled the current firmware to run with uh, um, eight times micro stepping. There's 16, but at 16, um, the movement is so slow, and yeah, you're getting 200 steps per millimeter. Uh, in some cases, uh, about sorry, 100 and something steps on the X Y plane, and then about 200 steps per millimeter on the Z plane. But the problem with that is it's so slow. It would be twice as slow as this again and this is already pretty good. There's a few um, lining, there's a few uh, alignment issues uh, with the g-code that's coming out, like as you'll see it's drawing arcs and it's missing about uh, a quarter of a millimeter when it comes around to the other side of the arc on larger circles and I'm not exactly sure if that's just the way that the arcs were being converted into linear steps. Um, and for creating my g-code and that for the tests I've been using a program called SolveSpace. I've mainly been using it in the 2D, but it's it's a full functioning uh, CAD and actually uh, it can produce CAM. It can actually output can actually output uh, the G code files um, and actually even the STL files or, and a few other things built right into it. Um, if you're working for a mill, it wouldn't uh, output it as slices. What I'd like to do later is uh, get one of my tiny little brushless motors and its uh, speed controller set up. Uh, great part about that is I have a tiny little uh, brushless motor. It's about 9 grams. It's only tiny. It's only about the size of one of the steppers, but it's incredibly uh, high torque for its size and um, very, very, very fast. I use these for uh, little pusher props on remote control planes, but of course being uh, a brushless for remote control that means its speed is controlled from PWM or servo so I would be able to use one of my two free uh, servo ports that are left on on my uh, Arduino to control the spindle head and I could simply uh, swap out the brushless uh, the motor shaft and the brushless is actually pretty uh, pretty simple piece of metal it's only held in with a set screw I should be able to swap that out and actually make the shaft of the motor a uh, end mill and end up with I believe a 1.5 millimeter end mill uh, or it's a 1 millimeter shaft I'm not sure what's in the motor I'd have to check it um, my other uh, option would be would it come up with some sort of coupler but it might be uh, just fine for this tiny motor because that motor itself is actually only um, 20 millimeters across and it would actually fit right in that custom pen holder carriage. So it would be interesting if I could do that later. As we're getting, getting to the end of this test uh, here, it's just putting the, the eyelids on the little googly eyes. And again, this was at uh, eight times micro-stepping. And it's a little bit early in the morning, so I'm having to use a flashlight uh, to sort of brighten up the target here, even though the room lights are on. drawing the last uh, arc now and again the arcs are just uh, interpreted in uh, solve space into smaller linear steps 
so the alignment on the right hand side of the uh, larger circle could be an issue in solve space because I can see when it's drawing the eyelid itself the uh, inside arc it's not having that same bump at that point so I think it could be an issue with solve space um, it positions by uh, absolute when it's drawing right now uh, it does support incremental or, or relative positioning but just to keep this uh, for test purposes for the alignment that it's using absolute positioning when it's drawing now I'm just gonna lift up the uh, going to uh, lift up that printhead. Actually what I'll do is I'll quickly home the, uh, the axis and then I'll change it to, into a faster step mode. So I've just turned the micro stepping off so we've got about seven steps per millimeter on the XY and 11 steps per millimeter on the Z, on the Z axis and I'm just going to lift it up as you can see it moves much quicker and it was only a quick command that I had to send but uh, that's it there anyhow thanks for watching and hopefully this didn't come out too blurry as I only had my little uh, cell phone camera for this